Now, the thing is, the MTA, they want to order over a thousand cars. I believe that's 1,364 cars, right? So, what they're doing is, they're doing it the same way they did with the R160, having it as a base order, an option one order, and also an option two order, right? So, yeah. So we do know that the MTA will be having these on the two on the one and six line as it's already confirmed. Now did he say anything about the three train getting it, which of course they probably are because the thing is they have the RC2. Those gotta be replaced anyway, so they have to put them on the three train as well as the 42nd shuttle train as well. So now the thing is, there's been a lot of speculations in regards to where the RC2s are heading. Um, people are saying that it's heading to the four, five, and six train due to the CPTC in Lexington Avenue. Now there are people that are saying that it's going to the to the uh, to the two, four, and five train because and possibly the three because these are the lines that run express. And because of the long, you know, distance too, of being expressed and local also, you know, doing, you know, those type of services. Now, the thing is, the MTA right now, they're only focusing on the one and six trains. So those are the lines that at the moment but will be receiving the R2C2. Now, the thing is that it has not been confirmed which manufacturer is going to actually produce these R2C2s. We don't know if it's Kawasaki, we don't know if it's Austin or whoever else the MTA is planning to, to do a bid to. So it is unknown at the moment who will be the manufacturer in regards to the R2C2s. But the only thing that we know that it has been confirmed that it will be running on the one and six train. Now, in my opinion, it, it doesn't make any sense for them to put it on the one train, which is the reason why I'm saying that is because the one train only runs local every single day. There's no express service for them whatsoever. It only goes from the, I mean, barely in the Bronx and mostly the hand side. To me, it'll be a waste if they put it on the one train. But of course, this is what the MTA wants to do. They want to put it on the one train because since the one train has the RC2As, uh, which is, you know, right now they're already 40 years old, it is time to replace them as well as the RC62, the R on the, on the three train. So right now we know that the r 2 will be running on this line like I, meant, like I just mentioned which will be the one train. And we, we do know that the one train has the RC2As. And these are the ones that the one train will be replacing with the R2C2s. Now, the thing is that the are speculations that people are saying that the one train might get either the R42 or the R42A or probably just both. Now, that would make perfect sense if they would do that, but then the issue is that if they do that, it's going to be too many transfers from the new, the newer set, which will be the RC2. If it, go, it, if it goes to a different line instead of the one, then let's say if it goes to the fire train, right? Then the fire train has to run the r 2s hanging to the one. So now what's going to happen is that if it goes to the fire train, then, then they got to try for those R42s from over there, from East 180th, heading to 280th yard to, to, to retire the RC2s. So you're talking about a, a back and forth transfer, that's going to happen. So that, that's probably the reason why the MTA decided to do it a straightforward like they're doing right now with the R211A. They're in Coney Island. They're already assigned to, to the uh, G train and also the B already in progress and they also mentioned about the Q getting it as well in regards to the to 11 a as well as the D train right which will be the, the uh, concourse yard 
So they're doing a direct replacement is what the MTA is doing. They want to make it easy and just, just retire the older train, which makes some sense. I mean, these trains are already from the 80s, if you look at it. I mean, the RCC2A and RCC2, both of them were from the 80s. You're talking about 1983 um, for the RCC2 and 1985 for the RCC2A. Right? Both of them are 40, 42 years. See? So it is time to replace them. Now, I'm going to create also another video later on, which will not be today, of course. I'll be talking to you also more in regards to the R um, the R 268s in a different video, which I'll tell you what lines they'll be replacing. But of course, I'm not going to tell you here. I'm going to tell you in another video. But right now, I'm just focusing on the A Division cars right here for the first time, which I haven't done, and which I am doing now. So the one train, people have, have been speculating so much about them either getting R42 or R42A and now people, you know, but, you know, saying about R42, which the MTA has already confirmed in the meeting, in the conference, um, uh, what, was, what was it, in, in Middlebrook uh, Road Station, which actually was the sixth train stop. They had a conference over there saying that the one train will be receiving the um, R2C2 and as well as this line too which will be the 6th train so the 6th train as we know they have the same train model which will be the R2C2A as well just like the 1 train so these trains will be replaced by the R2 62 now once again there's been a lot of speculations of the six train possibly getting R42 or R42A or just both of them together, right? Because remember, back then the six train they used to have the R42A actually back in in the 2000 era, all the way to 2018. So they had it ever since 2000. You're talking about 18 years. The six train has had MC cars. They had the R42s for the for the past 18 years. But the thing was that they couldn't keep them that long because the seven train needed the R42As to be converted into the R188s, which also was built by Kawasaki. Um, you know those train models, both of the, the R42A and also. The R88. They they actually identical trains. It's just that they're modified, basically. You know, so they modify those R42s basically into one, into the R188, which we guys see on the on the seven train. So that's the reason why the six train received the R32As back. They had them before. They gave them to the seven train. Now the seven train has returned them back to the six. So now the six train, ever since 2018. Till now, for the past seven years, they have been dealing with the RC2A ever since. Now the MTA has confirmed that the six train, just like the one train, will be receiving the R2C2, right? But let's see, things can happen. Now the other lines that also people have been talking about in regards to speculation, which I'll tell you right now, So right here, you know, in regards to, to the three train,